Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a CSV into JSON with Power Automate. And this is in response to a question that was on the Power Automate community forums. I thought I'd do a quick video for it. <clears throat> so let's take a quick look at the CSV. Here is the CSV data. Here's the header row. And here is just another line that was in this CSV that the person on the forum had in their CSV. Ideally speaking, this would be easier if these two lines didn't exist. But for the purposes of this flow, I'm going to leave them in because you might have a header row like this um, and it's not too difficult to get rid of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my flow here and do a compose step. and I'm just going to paste in the contents of the CSV. I'm going to rename it CSV. Then I'm going to add another step. And this one is just going to contain a new line. And I'm going to use that new line to split this CSV based on a new line. So I'm going to do another compose and the expression I'm going to use is split. Then I'm going to pick my dynamic content. I'm going to choose the CSV. And then I'm going to split it on the new line. Now at this stage, the output of this would still contain those two lines that, um, that we don't want from the beginning. So I'll just add another step. And compose, and I'll call this, uh, I'm just going to say skip. Skip will um, move past some elements of an array. So I'm going to use the output of split new line, and I'm going to skip forward two records, because this is now an array, the output of this. So if I OK that and save that, I'll just show you that before we go any further. And I'll just execute this. So here we've got the CSV in its standard format. The new line doesn't show us anything. We then split the whole lot on a new line. You can see now we have an array of data. This compose here has then removed. You can see this one has got these two header lines, whereas this one is just showing the data. So I'll call this one CSV data. So then we can go into an apply to each step. And the output will be the output of CSV data. Here I'm going to add another compose. And what I like to do here sometimes, I'm just going to nip back to Notepad. So if we take this, these are the field names. And I'm just going to compile some JSON from it. Okay, so now we've got some the basis of a of a JSON that we're going to use. So I'm going to call this JSON, and here I will put that. I'm going to in this um, JSON record, I'm going to put the value as um, sorry, I've missed a step. So before this step, I'm going to have to add it below. I'm going to do another compose and I will say split by comma. Let's move that below there. And the expression is going to be split item comma. So what comes into this applied to each is each line and each line is delimited has got commas that split the fields so we need to make a new array which is the split by which split by comma will generate for us by splitting the incoming line based on a comma now in our json section down here 
I can do dynamic expression. I'm going to use Power Automate to generate the syntax for me. So I'm going to use the outputs of split by a comma. And if I do a peak code, I can take that outputs of split by a comma. I'm just going to delete that. Now I'm going to use an expression. And I'm going to do a question mark just in case it doesn't have any value in there and zero. And then just for speed, I'm going to take that back over to here. And I'm going to copy that into there, 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 and there. I'm going to change the reference. One, two, three, four, five. Delete that, paste that in, and now this compose will generate us some JSON for that particular record. Now I'm just going to add another compose, and I'm going to delete it again straight away. I'm just going to use that to get us the outputs of JSON, and then I'm going to pick the code and just copy that, and I'm going to delete that. And then down here, outside of the loop, I'm going to have my compose. And I'm going to put in that same expression, which is going to produce us an array of records. Let's call it complete JSON. Save. Let's test it and see what we got. It's bound to be something in here that isn't right, but we'll see. Right, so we start off with the CSV. It gets split into split into new lines here. So we've still got those top header records. Then we're just down to the data. That goes into the apply to each. Split by a comma changes all of the each field into a record. Then the JSON is produced for us for the first record so on and so on and then this final one here compiles all of the results into an array which we can use for whatever we want and that is all there is to it you should be able to build that flow in no time at all give it a go see how you get on if you get stuck leave a comment and i'll try to help you out and if you've lasted this long through the video, you might as well like and subscribe it. Cheers. Bye-bye.